I have the opportunity inside Microsoft to look at all of the R&D innovation that's pretty far out. And one of the things that I've been looking at for the last couple of years is the innovation that Microsoft's driving directly in healthcare. Um, and, and you take uh, what we're doing, what we believe can be important in the healthcare industry, and take it with the innovation that we're driving uh, with our uh, computing technology, such as the Microsoft Service Unit you see sitting here. And what we've seen in the last two years is some significant innovation that's come from the healthcare field and our technology field. And uh, two years ago at the A-List, uh, we launched the Microsoft Surface. We announced the Microsoft Partner Program for Surface. We encouraged partners to invest early and get excited with us. And I'm pleased to have the team from Infusion with us on stage today to show you a little bit about uh, the exciting innovation that we're doing combined with Microsoft Surface and our healthcare products and great partnering applications. So welcome. Well, thanks. Great to be here. How's it going? Pretty good. So, so what have? well, here's what I got. All right, we are going to use the Microsoft Surface, a magical device, and we're going to have an experience that can only be done on the Surface that improves the way that doctors and patients work together. Something that pulls through the Microsoft technology stack, Surface provides the presentation layer, and it actually, doctors tell us who we worked with that this is a phenomenal uptick in their ability to educate patients. Hmm. So you ready for this journey? I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Okay. Here on healthcare is always interesting. Well, we're going to play. We're going to play doctor. And I okay. Hope our relationship is uh, uh, ready to do that. Uh, to make things more interesting, <laughs> you will be playing the I role. Didn't even get the joke. Okay. All right. <laughs> it'll hit. It'll hit you later. Um, you're going to be playing the part of Alexander Bogue. Okay. At least I'm a male. Okay. okay. Yes, you're a male. Uh, and also, the thing about Alexander is you also have type one diabetes. Okay. And you came to New Orleans and you had shortness of breath, you felt some palpitations, you checked yourself in, and I am your doctor, and we're going to go through your records. Excellent. So we're going to use an application called Amalga, which is what hospitals will use and do use, Microsoft product for linking all their EMR electronic medical record systems together. Okay. You have something called Health Vault. Right. So to access your Health Vault, let's take our cards and place them thusly, and through the magic of Surface and Amalga, I get to be the doctor, you get to be the patient. Excellent. Now I want you to notice that, oh, yeah, feel free. And if you order now, you will also get, it just feels like, okay, so now, now this, you are green and I am blue, and green, you see that you have health vault there? Yeah. That's your own personal health vault. You can access it on the web mobile phone, whatever it is that you want to do. I see, that's important because Microsoft has products in this, is in this market. Amalga is the uh, healthcare provider uh, platform and Microsoft Health Vault is the individual uh, platform that Microsoft is offering out as extensible platforms for partners to build on. Uh, exactly right. Okay, so let's go through your history, Alexander. Now, uh, the first thing is, first we did is we did your traditional x-ray. Okay, so we looked at your x-ray here and it looks like a good pair of lungs. I've been working hard to keep those lungs in shape. I'm sure your VO2 is awesome, but they're a little overinflated. You know what that means? Uh, means that, that that's some early stage emphysema. Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> you must uh, have been smoking. Yes, you must have been smoking. Right. So here's what I'm going to do. I want you to go to your primary care physician, and I want you to show them this, okay? And I also want you to know, see how it's green and blue? Yep. That indicates this is a record that's viewable by you and who you choose to make it available to. Okay. And the blue indicates it's also available to me. So okay. in this way, you always know where your data is. Let's take a look at your EKG. Oh my, yeah, there's that old heart attack there. Uh, but, uh, but that's well, okay. because so we're working out isn't doing me much good. <laughs> well, working out is keeping you alive, Alexander. Okay. All right, uh, what else do we have here? We also have, now you, one of the things we always like to do hmm. is we, we wanted to do a CT scan and uh, make sure, because you can complain of some palpitations, we want to make sure that there's no obstructions or anything. It's pretty good. We can adjust the frame rate a little bit. See a little more, oops, stop it, you see that? No, I'm just kidding, there's nothing there. You're okay, right. very good. Okay. So we also want you to go to a primary care physician there, and you know, a little bit later, what we're probably gonna do is, uh, you know, I do wanna sorta, what we're really looking for is your circulatory system here, we're just making sure there's no blockages, that you're good, that, that you're pretty healthy. I think those uh, veins and arteries are looking nice and colorful. Red and blue, the way we like to see it. Okay. Now, here's an interesting part. We worked with doctors, and one of the things we discovered was uh, that folks don't always remember what kind of medications that they're taking. Um, in fact, you, when you checked in, you said, I don't remember what sort of medication. So here's what I'd like to do. Let's look at them visually, and you tell me if any of these medications stand out. Mm -hmm. That looks familiar to you? purple pill there. Any of these things you're taking daily? You can be honest with me. 
I think I'm a, I think I'm a purple pill girl. You're a purple pill girl. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what we're going to We're going to put him here, and then you can make this available to a local pharmacy here in New Orleans as you get these prescriptions. But I'm going to make this recommendation and put all these things here, and we're going to make that available to your primary care physician. Now, the one thing that you do is you do, of course, have type 1 diabetes. And I, and I hate to tell you, but I just don't think that you're, you're really doing everything you could to sort of keep that in check. So we have a little education section. You notice over here, you also have a parallel of all of the categories okay. where you'll store all your data. So under education, what I'd like to do, so let's take a look here. And this is just a little chart that we have here. I'd like you to take this home to read it to study it, to work with it, and I want you to keep your, 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 your condition under check, and I want you to work with your primary care physician. Will you do that for me, Alexander? Yeah, well, it makes such a huge difference, because normally when I uh, go to the doctor, if, if there's something going on, I can't even remember what they're telling me, much less trying to remember what I'm supposed to do when I get home, so I'm glad to see that it's all going to be kept in my vault. And it doesn't end here, Alexander. Okay. You can take your blood glucose monitor at home, and you can actually hook up the data to your health vault account through the web. Okay. Pretty cool. All right. You can cross-check your medication with other medications you're taking. It's a complete solution. Wow, fantastic. So, uh, so now I'm going to go home and I'm going to visit my primary care physician. What it, show me what's in my vault. Okay. Everything that we have here is up here and all by the categories. Here's the images I've shown you. Here is the medications that we discussed. And here's the education that I need you to study up on and do a little bit of homework. Excellent. So it goes with me everywhere I go. Fantastic. Indeed it does. So uh, one of the big things we wanted to do here today was encourage partner-to-partner -partner networking. And now that I know we have uh, this great application available from a great partner, um, how, could we, how could I get your information so that we could uh, connect back together over time? Well, through the magic of our connections cards, which all of you folks ought to have. Does everyone we... have one of these yet? Has everyone been to the expo and gotten a connections card? All right, if you haven't, I encourage you to go and get one today. It's pretty interesting to see what we can do. So you ready? Yep. Oh, okay. I'm so glad I'm Allison again. My card, madame. Okay, my card, sir. Let me make sure you're really there. All right, so uh, well, there we go. I got you there as well. All right, Greg, thank you so much, and let's have a fantastic opportunity together on this new application.